Oh hi, Dave Taylor here again, and this time I'm having fun with the HP Elite X2 model 1012G1. That's this. It's a bit of a mouthful, but this is a really cool device. So what we have here, as you can see, is it's a draw on with the stylus, draw on screen, but that's not what makes this cool. What makes this cool is you see you have the keyboard, you have the little backstand, but it's a tablet. So, turns out that it's actually just a hybrid computer. So, if you want, you're running Windows 10 Pro, so you can do that. Let me um, pull out the little kickstand. And the kickstand's cool too. Number one, obviously it works even if you don't have the keyboard attached, but it also lets you adjust it to get just the angle you like which is nice. I know a lot of times I get reflections, so just a slight change in angle can make a huge difference. Um, and then it's a magnetic catch, so now it's docked again. Uh, obviously when you close it, it's really small. This is a very small, very incredibly well designed and well thought out piece of hardware. Uh, when you open it, there's two ways. You can have the keyboard up to get it to have a little bit of a tilt to it, or you can just go ahead and lay it flat. And the stylus, this is what HP calls their active stylus. Um, they've worked with Wacom, W-A-C-O-M, I'm not sure I'm pronouncing it right, but they've worked with them to create the stylus and the draw-on system, which is really, really nice. It's very precise. Um, let's see, has the battery, so the stylus stays there. Let's go ahead and turn this on and get it back online. And one thing that's really nice that I like about it is that it's actually a pretty powerful computer. So it's running a, an Intel Core M5 at 1.1 gigahertz, and it also has the um, Intel HD Graphics 515 system, so it's pretty zippy. Now, it's not a 4K display, so I suppose that's something you should consider, but it is running at greater than 1080p. It's actually running at 1920 by 1280. Um, so it, when I watch video on it or play games or something, it's plenty powerful and the screen looks great. I mean, it's a nice bright screen. It's not a 4K resolution. I don't think that's a huge problem. Um, it is powered around the USB-C. And the po positive on that is that that gives you Thunderbolt, which is a super fast I.O. Um, system, so you can actually plug in Thunderbolt drives and get really, really fast interaction. The downside is it's USB-C, so it's yet another connector. But HP really thought this through because they also have an older USB connection on it too, which is so nice. I'm so tired of companies just saying, you shall go to USB-C and we're going to get rid of everything else. But if you have an old flash drive or something, you can plug it into this and it'll work fine. And again, it's running Windows 10 Pro, so it's going to have all the capabilities that you're going to need anyway. So this particular unit I have has eight gigabytes of RAM and a 256 gig solid state drive, all in here. I don't know why I'm pointing at the keyboard. Keyboard is an independent unit. Um, and again, the keyboard obviously detaches. Um, the front facing camera is a two megapixel and it's really a fully functional webcam. The back camera is five megapixels. I don't know how often I'll be taking pictures with this versus with a smaller device, but some people like to do that with their tablet, so um, this will do a good job, and I guess that's a good thing. Uh, interestingly, the sound system, they worked with Bang & Olufsen, which is this super high-end audiophile audio company, and it sounds really nice. There is obviously no little portable, you know, separate subwoofer or anything, so you still have some limitations in the audio you're going to get, but it's pretty nice. And they also have two built-in microphones, so when you're talking, if you're using this for Skype or some other video chat or something, then it actually does a good job of voice reproduction and it sounds really clean. So B&O, a nice addition to this. Let's see, what else can I tell you about it? It's a 12-inch diagonal screen um, with FHD and it's Gorilla Glass 4, so the whole thing's actually really pretty tough. I could show you by smashing it with a hammer, but I'm not going to do that. Who the heck would smash their tablet with a hammer? It's crazy, crazy, I tell you. Uh, let's see. Um, the active stylus is pretty slick, has some a button on it too, and it even has a button on the top. So. As you saw, I pushed the button and things happened. How about that for crazy? Um, something you need to get used to, obviously. <laughs> That's okay. Um, 
And let's see, so it has dual band wireless AC, so that means it supports 802.11, let's get this right, A, B, G, N, and AC. Does that count as one finger or two fingers? One finger, AC. Um, and Bluetooth 4.2, so it's all the latest standards, all the latest hardware and circuitry, it's nice and fast. And here's what's really nice is this particular unit also includes all the business smarts. So that gives you, it's a little tougher with the Gorilla Glass, but it also gives me the trusted platform module TPM2. It has a fingerprint reader, you can see here on the back. Um, it has power on authentication. It has drive encryption on pre-boot. So if someone steals this, they're not gonna be getting anything off of it, which is super nice. Um, Biosphere with HP Sure Start and Absolute Persistence Module. What is Absolute Persistence Module? I don't know, but it's always there because it's Absolute Persistence Module. So obviously a huge benefit. <laughs> but here's the, here's the reality, you know, all the specs aside, what makes this really nice is the keyboard. This is a really amazing keyboard for something that's so incredibly thin. It's like, a, what is it, maybe a quarter inch thick or something. This actually has the feel of a full laptop keyboard. So if I'm using this system and I need to be typing notes or something, or I'm just interacting with um, as if it was a laptop, it really feels like a laptop. It's not some weird, rubbery, non-moving keys or anything. I really, really am impressed with the keyboard. The whole system, it really is just elegantly designed. And uh, I was last night reading um, on the Kindle app and it's just like, this is amazing. It's so big and there's so much information it can present. And it's running a full Windows 10, so it gives me all the apps, all the power, all the capabilities. I can hook this up to an Xbox. I mean, pretty darn nice. So that leaves only one thing left to talk about, and that's price. So the base cost for the HP Elite X2 1012 units is $899. This unit, as configured with the 8 gig of RAM and the 256 gig of SSD hard drive and the M5 running at 1.1 gigahertz, this runs about 1350, 1349. Now, keep in mind that includes the keyboard, it includes the stylus, right? So, like Apple has their iPad Pro, but you got to spend another 100 bucks for the stylus. HP, I really like their whole approach is just like, here's the package, go. And it comes with all this stuff, Windows 10 Pro ready to roll, that includes the entire Microsoft Office suite, lots of really nice stuff. I really like this. This is a really nice unit and it's a nice tablet, but it's just a nice overall setup. And I can absolutely see this being my go-to device for when I'm traveling, because it gives me all the benefits of having a laptop. And if I wanna just watch a movie or something, then I just pop this, the keyboard off and I'm good to go. So how can you not like that? And 10 hours battery life. Did I mention 10 hours of battery life? That's pretty nice. That's a pretty long flight, right? So this is Dave Taylor and I've been reviewing the HP Elite X2 1012 G1 hybrid laptop. <sighs> and I really like it. So I'll see you in my next video.